All right, guys. This one is another one of the wild man's wild friends. Um, it's a little defensive, so it may try to bite me. Oh, see what I mean? And it's also, ow, super quick. Yow. As you can see, it's kind of gnawing at me there. Kind of uh, chewing into my skin there. Thankfully, it's non-venomous. This one's a racer. Wow, I'm gonna hold him a little tighter by his neck. But uh, these guys really get charged up quick too. By the sun, he's not even that warm at the moment. Um, and they're really, they can be really fast. That's why they call them racers. So you can see, it's a good length to this one. They'll actually get up to about five feet in length. And there's a wide range of uh, subspecies of the racers. Um, they're all gonna have the same look. They're all gonna be non-venomous. They're gonna have a nice kind of narrow head. Sometimes they'll, they'll lift their head up out of the grass and, and look around. There he is again. But um, they'll be from Canada through the United States, down into Mexico, and even into South America. Um, we used to have these back in Wisconsin, kind of along the Mississippi River, but there they were uh, a threatened species, so you weren't allowed to interact with them, find them, anything like that. Yeah, he's pretty, uh, pretty bitey right now. And although he did hit me a couple times, he really didn't even draw blood. So, so that's pretty cool. I can see a kind of couple tiny dots. But often they're going to be a, a solid color on the back. Black, blue, gray, stuff like that. And then a solid color on the belly. Some of them will be uh, dark on the belly, but most of the varieties I've seen are going to be um, just a lighter colored belly. They're going to be white. They're going to be cream colored. They're going to be uh, yellow. Sometimes they'll have a real yellow throat too with a uh, with just kind of a lighter um, belly down the down the middle. Um, as youth, you know, when they're young, uh, juveniles, they do have some really striking patterns. Um, when they hatch out, they're usually less than a foot, maybe eight to ten inches or so, and they'll have a, a pretty cool pattern. But when they get older, they're just going to be a, a solid color. These guys do lay eggs. They'll have up to 30 eggs. Um, and you see they've actually got a pretty pretty big eyes compared to some of the other snakes. Um, so what do they eat? They eat uh, a lot of rodents, a lot of lizards. They will eat other snakes. And then they're also a pretty good climber, although they spend most of their time on the ground. They are a pretty good climber. And they'll, uh, they'll eat birds. They'll raid nests and stuff like that. So... This is one of my friends, and we've met a lot of them down here in Arkansas. Never encountered them up, up in Wisconsin, but, uh, but they are some pretty cool snakes. And like I said, I mean, pretty good, pretty good length too. This guy may bite me again now. And I think the tip of its tail must have got ran over back in the day, probably by a truck or something. It's pretty gnarled up, but it's it's also rigid, so the bone is healed like that. So. Pretty cool snake. I've uh, posted a couple of photo shoots of them as I found some before, but never did one of these yet. So there he is, the racer. All right, pop out. <laughs>